Hi right, guys, back again with another packages video. As you can see, uh, I went a little overboard dropping them on. I've got a whole bunch of stuff here, so probably can try to get through it pretty quickly. But uh, already pre-cut all the packages, so uh, there's no there's going to be no package cutting in these videos because that's something I don't like personally. So I'm not going to have it in my videos. Obviously, that would be pretty critical. So uh, yeah, not going to do that. So uh, the first one up is a uh, Arrow video release of the Exterminator. I haven't seen the film, but uh, man, the artwork looks pretty damn awesome there. I believe that's the original artwork, and uh, with these Arrow video releases, you always have a uh, kind of an alternative art as well. So you can flip the cover if you don't like the uh, first one. So it's cool. Go with the flamethrower there. <coughs> Got a another Arrow video release. Been buying a, a lot from them lately. Just like their releases, so they actually give a shit and uh, put a whole bunch of special features in their stuff. So yeah, uh, next up is Battle Royale. Sorry, <laughs> should have said that. So uh, I've been years since I've seen this film, so I thought it was about time to give it another go and uh, pick it up again. Especially when I could get it up. Oh, this is only like a eight pound Blu-ray or something. So something ridiculous again with. Just for how much effort Arrow actually puts in, I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I actually have a seal book as well for this update, as well as some Arrow releases. So, uh, bloody cardboard. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, we've got uh, the collector's edition of Sin City. So, very cool. <laughs> Love the movie. So, thought it would uh, be pretty great to uh, grab the steel book. So it's two discs there. Got some good special features on the uh, second disc. There you are. <laughs> Shouldn't have to say anything to say too much else about Sin City. You guys should probably should have already seen it. Uh, I believe they are doing another one, I think, <laughs> soon. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so we've got a Chief from Mighty Egg with um, one of these PSP essentials, uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah. Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. So I've always kind of enjoyed the Soul Calibur games on consoles, but I'm not sure how that how it's going to be on uh, a handheld. So I, have to, I haven't checked this one out yet, obviously, because it's still sealed, but look forward to that. And the next one, I've got a, uh, another special edition. Uh, I've been going a bit crazy with those as well. Uh, so this is the original Creep Show. Uh, just a slip there, so it's got the comic cover there with uh, got like a Dawn of the Dead posters and Carrie and Shining posters there and all of there. So advertising their other movies, obviously. Uh, George and uh, what's his name's Jane, yeah. <laughs> so pretty cool. Uh, really liked the first Creep Show actually. Hadn't seen it till uh, I'd actually picked this up. Uh, I liked the Cage and. Um, story Leslie, Leslie Nielsen was in as well. Those are my two favourites of the uh, stories on this uh, on the creep show. Okay, and the next one is uh, City of the Living Dead. Another one from Arrow. <laughs> yeah, it's going a bit crazy on uh, buying up some arrows. I mean, just look at this special feature. <laughs> special features there. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous how out. Uh, really liked um, they did this kind of a cool kind of brain. Cr I guess it's like a head crush kind of kill in this movie. Even though it was a bit overused, I thought it was still pretty cool. <laughs> and then we got uh, Awaken the Dead, which is just a cheap zombie one. Eh, not very good. Too much talking, not enough uh, action. A few more uh, of the oh, okay. Don't Ring the Doorbell, which goes by another name. Uh, I think it's the Manfu Cage or something similar to that, so not sure why they changed it, but uh, apparently that is the name Stateside. So, yep. And I grabbed a few more of those B movie collection 
uh, movies. <laughs> so, uh, got spiders. Creature. Crocodile. So I'm getting pretty close to a full set of those, actually. I think there's only three more that I need. So, I'm pretty close to a full set. And then this last package I got from Umbrella. So this is just a, uh, sorry about that, I'm getting pretty sick here. So, uh, Drive and Delirium, Retro Rampage. This is kind of just like a trailer compilation um, discs that they do that's like 12 hours of trailers, so. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous amount of trailers on them, so. I thought they were, thought they were, they were cool. Hopefully you're going to pick up the other volumes pretty soon as well. It's because I think they'll uh, help me find some really cool movies that I might not have heard of before, so yeah, really looking forward to uh, finally completing this. I'm, I think I'm about two discs through so far, but it's 12 hours, so it's a long, long watch. Um, but I also picked up uh, Hatchet 2. Uh, I haven't seen the first one yet, but a lot of people on uh, YouTube have said uh, the Hatchet series is good, so definitely looking forward to uh, getting into the series. I'm going to find the first one. Uh, and the $5 Blu-ray uh, Stakeland. So this is in the, one of the US Ultra Slim cases. Usually uh, power Blu-ray cases are a bit fatter. But um, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool uh, vampire movie. Yeah. And I got uh, finally grabbed this from Umbrella, the Ultimate Zombie Collection. So get uh, three... Italian zombie films. Uh, you got Zombie Flesh Eaters, Burial Ground, and Zombie Holocaust. So, very cool. <laughs> uh, I've only seen the first two so far, so I haven't seen uh, Zombie Holocaust yet. And I've got the kind of these uh, cartoon, cartoonish uh, looking, like a cartoon comic strip looking uh, DVDs. So. Just seen some of their older sets, older releases, I think. <laughs> and I actually did get given a uh, free Blu ray with my order because I think it was over X amount, so I got a free Blu ray. So, uh, the free Blu ray, yeah, the, th the free Blu ray that I received was Circle, Circle of Pain. Uh, never heard of it. I'm guessing it's kind of a UFC fighting movie or something, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this one, to be perfectly honest, because I, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about it, so if you've seen it, let me know. If it's, uh, if you think it's half decent, I might actually end up watching it, but I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to, uh, sell it or something, because I don't think it's going to be something I'm interested in. Anyway, that's all for this Pages video. <laughs> I know it was a big one, uh, not getting a huge stack of titles. Uh, I should show them the caption, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Just fitting in frame. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time. Bye.